Hey everyone, it's Mark Skipper Mark. Today we are going to do something totally different than we normally do in our videos. We're not going to work on cars. We're actually going to go to the town of Narragansett, Rhode Island and enjoy the beautiful weather. Matt's even going to tag along, which I'm really thankful for. I know he wanted to do some work on his Jeep, but he decided to go along with us. If you've never been there, it's a small, quaint town. It's got some nice beaches, some touristy things to see, and we're just gonna walk around and check out the sights and take pictures and have some fun. So I wanna thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day, and appreciate you watching all my videos. I can't believe how many people watch them, and I just wanna say thank you so much. That means the world to me. Thank you again, and have a great day. I really appreciate Matt driving so I can just relax and enjoy the ride. I also appreciate Nancy letting me ride in the front seat so I can have more leg room. In 4.2 miles, turn left onto Post Road. Thanks, Siri. There's lots of parking places around town, but they charge and they start around $10. So you can just park on the road if you're going to be here less than four hours. There's ice cream shops all over the place because who doesn't like ice cream in the summer? This is the entrance to the Port of Galilee. It's nothing like Hallover Inlet in Miami. So if you want to see some crazy things, I'll link to a video above for that. Of course, Matt was immediately hungry when we got there. So we grabbed a quick bite at Salty's. There's a nice gazebo nearby where you can eat in the shade. There are two types of ferries to get you to Block Island. The high speed ferry takes about 30 minutes and the regular one takes about an hour. If you want to bring a vehicle, you have to take the slow ferry.
want fresh seafood, you can purchase it right from the fishermen on the docks. Camp Cronin isn't really a camp. It's a beach and fishing area. Hey Nance, I'm gonna go get some of those epic crashing wave shots on the jetty over there. How'd it go? It didn't. Hey Matt, move around. Act like you're looking at something and talking. This area is a fisherman's memorial. It's dedicated to those who lost their lives at sea. Hey Nancy, I'm gonna go and see what's up here. Wow, this is pretty. In the distance out there is the Point Judith Lighthouse. So on the way home, we were passing by the exit for Mystic Seaport and Mystic Village. So we decided to stop at the Franklin General Store here in Mystic Village and pick up some fudge. They have some of the best fudge around. Mystic Village is designed to look like an old shopping village, I guess, from the olden days. So the store is practicing super strict social distancing. They have a person at the front and they're only letting in one person when one person leaves. So we just sent Nancy in as our ambassador. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trip to Narragansett, Rhode Island. If you have any questions about the area, please leave a message in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. It's a beautiful area and a fun place to visit. I know everyone who watches this channel mostly comes here to see videos of Matt working on his cars. So we're going to end this video with some clips of him working on his Jeep Wrangler and replacing his water pump. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.